Hello there, this is Malak, and welcome to episode 24 of my uh, ongoing, very ongoing, well, not 24, not too many episodes, <laughs> series on, on the Wandering Village. Um, we've just entered the desert. We've got a decision to make. Okay, as your scavengers arrive at the shrine, they are suddenly enveloped by a mysterious, dense fog. The closer they get to the shrine sanctum, the more they feel like they're being watched. Humbug. <laughs> To do what we came for. Mysterious. Maybe let's passively pay tribute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's better. I will pay tribute with bread. The tribute is immediately enveloped by an opaque fog. Second later, it has vanished, and in its place, a small bundle of resources has appeared. Look at that. I. Whoa! Loads of iron ore and sand. I mean, the sand I'm not particularly bothered by, but the iron ore. That's a great transaction. Because our iron ore, I mean, that's 19 iron ore. Um, that takes our iron ore to 26. You know, we we didn't have much. That's great. I, I mean, I would have preferred knowledge to a point, but mm, I'm not going to complain. I ain't complaining. I mean, I could complain, but I ain't complaining. Let's uh, search that ruined settlement. Okay, and now we're going to search that mine. We don't know which way we're going to be going, the north road or the south road, though the north road has another heat wave. Let's see how well we deal with this heat wave. Um, am I doing anything? Did I forget to do something? I'm just trying to remember now what I was supposed to do. I know that I changed the, um, the fishing and the salt water collection over. And I know I changed crops to um, uh, hot weather varieties. Um... We're gonna probably lose a load of herbs. That's that's a that's a, a fair po po possibility. Um, we really need a stockpile of herbs or something, don't we? Oh. Is there a meow? Who oh, is there a meow? I'm just hearing it <laughs> coming through the mic into my headset. What are you doing? I don't know what Freya's doing. She's doing something. She Freya does what whatever Freya likes doing. I don't know. She's um she's weird. What can I say? She's super weird. Why aren't my lights coming on anyway? I feel like there's some kind of issue with my home automation. Oh there we go. Lights have come on now. Hello yo, what are you doing back there? What are you doing? New engine. Yeah. It's way too early for food, you know. Way too early. I know. I know. Poor and ill-treated cat. Um. So, warehouse. Do I actually even have a warehouse? Ah, that does not look like a building that I've, I've built before. See, look at that. That would be a kind of a cool place for a warehouse. It actually fits basically perfectly. Um, and I do not think that I have one already. It does not look like it. So this means moving a water tank again. Um, move it there. I don't know. It's a little, little, little think. I kind of feel like planting more mushrooms would be a good idea. I actually don't think we're ever going to need that bit. So I'm going to put the water tank there. Um, I'm not going to actually get rid of any water tanks right now. I'm going to uh, be sensible. Because at the moment we've got 900 fresh water. That's a lot of fresh water. And we want to keep it that way. You know, we've, we've got like backup of 250 salt water. Um, which is slowly also becoming salt. That's probably something we need in the special kitchen. But yeah, I want to change this area into a much better area. So we'll end up destroying these two material storages. Move the water tank, which is already in progress. This ombu statue? Oh no. I don't want to blow up the ombu statue. We'll, we'll, in quotes, move it. <laughs> um... It'll be fine. It'll be fine. 
My brain. My brain's kind of failing. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. So yeah, we're going to see what the heat wave is like. We've I've done everything that I need to do, as far as I can tell, to survive a, a, a heat wave. We're going to lose some crops. We can't help that. Um, I will double check though which crops we will lose. Yeah, so the wheat crops we're going to lose, but it doesn't matter because we've got so much blooming sacks of wheat, it doesn't really matter. It's like, seriously, we've got so much wheat. Um, we're we're going to lose um, herbs. But we, again, have have a stack of herbs. The herbs are going in, yeah. So so really, the, the warehousey thing is, is a really important move. I feel like we probably can just get rid of that water tank. Okay, so, small band of nomads. Yeah, pick them up. Three healthy people. Fantastic. Total happiness is uh, is pretty good still. Okay. Question is, how fast are we compared to those nomads? Because those nomads are walking that way, and if we intersect them there, we will obviously be able to pick them up. I'm I'm guessing. So are they faster or slower, or about the same as us? Because then they'll get to the intersection first if they're the same speed, and we'll miss them. Unless we run, at which point... Well, I mean, we could run through the heat wave. Oh my god. We're about to enter the heat wave. So we've got that water tank constructed. Um, I'm actually just going to immediately destroy this. And see um, whether or not... Um, the other one just sort of gets the water. Because we're still not 100% sure how the resources work. We have 900, over 900, um, water. So, it looks like someone may be breaking it down. So, we've got 905. Okay, so that went down to 884. So, we didn't lose all of it. I mean, in fact, there's a load of water buckets. So, let's build... Let's just get... Let's begin the move process. I'm going to top priority all of these. On boost statue. And then, obviously... Obviously, the on boost statue can go... I mean, really, it kind of needs to go somewhere else. Don't want to put it too close to there. We will we will store the bricks. Fireworks launcher, that's kind of cool. Um, we will store the bricks and we will reassemble it another time. Okay, looks like the middle of Onbu's tile has to go over the edge from the looks of it. Oh. There we go. That was the exact moment that we entered the heat wave. Um, so yeah, it's now a torrid. I mean, it's a word. You gotta admit, it's a word. I think we're gonna just see how we can weather it. Um, we are gonna lose crops. I, I, I get that. Um, decomposition. Yeah, that there's there's yeah. The the heat is destroying the crops. I don't think we'd get through in time. Um so I I think we just need to uh we just need to accept that yeah, let's just take this tank it. We're gonna tank it, yeah. We'll we'll get through. It not take long. It not take long. No point messing on booze, I don't know. Exercise regime. Yo! To you two.
I think I like the GUI more. I'm getting used to it. Yeesh. It's fine. It's fine. We've got over a thousand food. So I kind of feel like we're, we're good. speed up time a little bit we've got some shrines over there that's good that's what I like to see a little dune dunes aren't great they get sand sand is useful for something I can't remember okay well we're through halfway and we are we are slowly overtaking the nomad group. The probability of us intersecting them, I don't know. Um, there's no poison here, so you you could just turn around and just sit down in that tile and wait for them to arrive, kind of a deal. All right, let's go to that shrine. It's a bit closer now. Oh, I missed that dune. With it being so close, we might as well just go. So that iron ore, wood, look, look how fast that scavenge is. Definitely worth doing. Warehouse constructed. We're nearly out of the, uh, the heat wave. We've still got some herbs that have somehow survived. Um... for somewhere something nice something interesting let's do that why not see with the torrid there we go the moment we exit the heat wave that herb goes from decomposing to growing so it doesn't kill everything it it just beats the crap out of a few things it's cool it's, it's all good, it's all good. What I want to do now, though, is make, well, an aqua farm. An aqua farm sounds like a really cool thing to do. So I'm gonna build an... Oh, it's a bamboo sp spike. I was like, why can't I build it? I mean, it's... We are not using those berry bushes for anything, are we? I do want it near the kitchen, so I kind of want to put it here. That can move its growing up north if need be. I mean, they could all move though. Hello, Fro. I've got way too many things on my desk at the moment. Sorry, girl. Go on. I've got stuff that I'm in the middle of as well as the streaming and the mic and the Steam Deck and a, and two. Why have I got two mugs of empty mugs? I don't know. Well, either way, I do. So they're very important. So I'm gonna put this here. Um. I don't think it's the best place, but it, it's it's the place that I'm putting it. So, uh, now let's make a stone road. Because we want more roadiness. While I've got this selected, we might as well do a little bit more in the way of, of making roads better. Um, but as well as that, okay. Oh. So we build the aqua farm, put 
some more. Put the plots there and remove those plots from there. Well, I mean, we don't have to remove all of them, just some of them, I guess. So we're going to grow fish, maybe. I guess we'll see. So, looking at this junction ahead. So we've got like a mountainous region ahead, which is looking a little poisonous. That heat wave did nothing to us. We have more food coming out of it than we did before. So far our desert trip hasn't, hasn't actually drained our water. We've got just as much fresh water as before. We have less salt water. That is true. Um, but if all we've done is lose less than 100 water in general, I kind of feel like we could just go north. Avoid the poisonous stuff. Um, just head north. Stay, stay in the desert a little longer. Maybe even have a go at picking up these nomads. Yeah, if we if we have a sleep, we get Ambu to sleep in that spot where that we'll intersect with them. Because there's no poison in the desert. So, laying down, having a bit of a snooze, isn't going to hurt Ambu at all. Um, I have very minor concerns about Ambu's food. Um, are we still just mass producing onbu food? Um, here's the onbu kitchen. Basically, we're still producing a lot of onbu food. We've got... S <laughs> we have 79. 79 onbu food. Okay. I mean, that's a lot of onbu food, and I'm happy to keep on making it. Um... I can't remember how much it restores. <laughs> That's a lot of Ombu food. So we haven't got the feeding trebuchets uh, operating. Let's uh, let's get the feeding trebuchet online. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say give Ombu a nom. Now Ombu is f 57, 57 nomage. Okay, let me uh, double check the path though. I, st I think we're going north, um, but I just want to test this Ombu food. We're preparing the Ombu food, 57% still. Oh, it literally says 20. Oh, it, it says 20. So, actually, yeah, I didn't even need to, to wait. Uh, yeah, sorry, I, was, I, I looked in a couple of places, but I guess it makes sense that it's that place. We could feed Ombu. I mean, we, we might... I bet you can get to the point where if there's literally no food for Ombu at all, you can still feed... Maybe that's what the, the downside of the desert is, is that there's just no food for Ombu. I would say that with our absurd amounts of Ombu food, we can probably handle it. Yeah, we can handle the desert for longer. Let's stick with the desert. We'll we'll settle in that little cross hatch. No, oh, I'm calling it a cross hatch thing. But that little crossroads where um where we're gonna meet those nomads once they catch up to us. I'm just hoping that we can rest long enough for them to, to actually get to us. We will see. We will see. Yeah, dead ahead doesn't look actually too horrible, but I am still going north. There we go, we managed to just get that shrine in. How long will it take them to get to us, and will Ombu stay still long enough? Ombu's a little bit sleepy, so we might as well actually have, have a big rest in that area. Almu seems pretty happy, you know.
So when we're dead in the middle of the tile, because I think we're technically now in the tile now, but that didn't work for the heat wave. Now would be if it was a heat wave. Okay, so let's, um, okay, on boot, buddy. Um, could you have, uh, just, just lay down for a bit, dude. Dude. I know you'll get restless, so we're just going to lay down for a bit. Yeah, you stretch those leggies. It's a bit warm here, isn't it? Yeah, buddy. A bit warm. To be fair, we might as well just tell him to sleep as well. What the hell, we might as well, yeah. Because, you know, tiredness is happening. This is like the perfect spot, really, because we will then meet the nomads. Anbu is sleepy. God, they are slow, those nomads. We're here, dudes. We're waiting. Um, right. Let me have a little look at some of the my industry-related things. The warehouse I'm, I'm looking at as well. Wow, there's so many things that we can make. Like, what is some of this stuff? Health potion, yeah. Tranquilizer. Lowers heart rate. Painkillers. Okay. Energy booster. And that looks like what we already know. The antitoxin and then the health potion. So yeah, these things I'm guessing you, you research is the, the laboratory. That's the laboratory related things. I am assuming. Eventually, they will put away all of this stuff, I'm, I'm certain. So, we got some ore. Send them to that mine. They, they are, they will put it all away eventually. It's just gonna, don't scavenge even party returned with some knowledge. We're gonna go that way, so what's behind us? I guess that forest. Actually, this dune. Might as well just grab some sand. Can't remember what it's used for, but I'm sure it's used for something. Refined into, <clears throat> duh, glass. Obviously, it's bloody glass. Don't know why the rest of the desert doesn't have a uh, sand, but I'm guessing it's just one of those really mean oh. deserts. Oh. Well, Onbu's not getting as much rest as I'd... Uh Assumed, hoped. I think the hope mechanism, since it's pretty much was was new and and uh, and and it's and it was like ma really high value, and now it's practically gone. I think that might have been something temporary due to the update. Like, gives you a bit of a cushion because they've changed everything. Uh, to make sure that everyone's got enough housing and and all of that stuff. What are we actually researching? The laboratory, that was it. Oh, well, we've just about met these nomads. Onbu is still sleepy. A little bit sleepy anyway. Yeah, the Onbu beds are so much better. Okay, collapsed mine. As soon as your scavengers step into the mine, the ground starts to shake. Huge boulders fall from the roof and block the exit. 
yeah, check for another way out. We're, we're not that urgent. After desperately looking for another entrance, one of the scavengers stumbles over a lever. A large stone starts to move, opening an exit. Yay! We got some stone. That wasn't ideal, but I'd rather people get out alive than we get some bloody iron ore. We're about to meet these buddies. Oh, you know what I didn't do? We may very well be farming the crap out of um, a load of corn, but I'm not sure whether we actually have any, like, corn kitchens. There's a corn kitchen. I think it's because I put the wrong thing in the wrong place. So I'm going to, um... Make this the beet soup, and this the corn one. Now I've started to gain more. Oh, it's because the salt water is being, being removed. Let's get more workers on the cactus farm since that produces water. Oh, hang on. Um, yep, pick them up. God. Three healthy people. Come on, buddy. Hopefully you had a good sleep. I know you got a little bit of... You could have done with a little bit more. It's like what, five more minutes. I, I get it, buddy. I get it. I get it. Oh, no. And we've got another heat wave, which I do not think is going to bother us. We've got so much stuff. Like, like we've got ombu blood just laying on the floor. on the wrong one. Okay, let's move forward a bit. In fact, actually, before we enter this new heat wave, I guess that's pretty much it, really. Um, we are getting better. Um, we've nearly researched the um, laboratory, and then we're going to move over to... The Gourmet Kitchen. I'm kind of excited to see what that actually provides us. Um, the plaza is also a thing still we, we still need. But we seem to have gained a, quite a bit of knowledge this episode, or the, the, the last few episodes anyway. And um, it's good. It's good. We uh, The dark days that we had behind us, um, where all the poisoning happened. I'm hoping with our stockpile of 200 herbs, um, which I'm going to allow it to grow... We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see us through. We've got a lot of idle people. I think that's because things have backed up now. We've got so much stuff backing up the system that, that we can't have anymore. But we'll, we'll be fine. Oh, we've just had another onbupu. Onbupu. Yeah. I always like to make sure that it's actually happening. There we go. Um... And, um, we do have... Do we have enough compost? Dung compost. Okay, we're just about entering. Wait, we've entered the heat wave now. Do we have enough biogas? I think we probably have enough biogas. Yeah, let's switch over to compost. 
Komm, brauchst du. Especially because I think we do have things that are running off 100% compost. <clears throat> I, like, I think it was the herbalist, actually, come to think of it. Um, yeah, they were, they were requiring compost earlier, so I'm going to switch off requiring compost. And not that they can grow anything right now anyway. Yeah, we might as well close the herbalist. Close the mycologist. Because they're just not doing anything, you know? The kitchen is slowly making a little bit of beet soup, but not much. We'll, we'll be fine. So, that is it for this episode. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I am, because I really, really am. It's really good. Um, I will see you anon. Until next time, cheerio.